Tonight, we remember the tornado that claimed the lives of 10 people and injured more than 100 others in Paris 42 years ago today. An event that's remembered by most locals. News 12's Shalaya Munson spoke with residents about that day in 1982. For many, April 2nd, 1982 is a day they will never forget. And I don't think anybody doesn't remember where they were at that day. It was the day when an F4 tornado ripped through their city, killing 10 people and injuring more than 100 others. Some residents say they remember every detail. Debris and stuff went across the house and about 400 yards across there, it hit Paris lumber. Destroying the building along with more than 460 more homes. Kyle McCarley, the owner of the Paris Lumber and Building Center, remembers how the day started. The sky was blue. It wasn't a cloudy day. It wasn't a stormy day. But when he returned from a late lunch, that all changed. And I thought to myself, you know, this is a tornado day. He says the air was hot and sticky. Shortly after, he would see the twister coming straight toward the building. We got in the vault and we shut the door. For 61 seconds, 36 men, women, and children fit into this vault while the tornado struck. When the tornado hit us, we didn't think about it. Electricity went off. It got dark in the vault. You heard a lot of people praying, some people praying that probably hadn't prayed before. He recalls his mother counting every second out loud until it got quiet. As we came out, the wood framing that, that frames our offices were still standing but the rest of the lumber yard was on the ground. And it took us some while to find a way out, and 36 of us got on our hands and knees, and we crawled out. Even first responders questioned how they survived. Everybody pulled together, helped one another. A day that still unites this community. In Paris, Talea Munson, News 12.